All right, so good to have you guys. In this video, we have to answer this question. The question says, create a function which takes two numbers as arguments and return the smaller one. So we're gonna use Python and we're going to use the concepts that we've learned so far. All right, so I'm gonna get into my Sublime Text. I have the question in my Sublime Text over here. Um, create a function which takes two numbers as arguments and return the smaller one. All right, so the way we tackle this question is we have to create a function. So we use the def keyword to create a function. And obviously we want to name our function, All right? So the way we name our function in Python is similar to the way we name our variables. Let me use an arbitrary name. So I, I want to use something that is descriptive. So I'm, I want to say compare two nums um, like this. This is the name of my function. Right, and then obviously this has to take two numbers. So I'm gonna represent those two numbers with an X and Y. These are parameters. When I'm defining my function, the X and the Y are the parameters, but the real numbers that I'll pass in when I'm using the function, we call them arguments, All right? So the next thing is we want to compare. So we're going to use uh, what we call conditional statements, all right? So I'm gonna say if X is less than or equal, to y, I want to return x, else we want to return y. Okay, so this is done, all right? So this is how we create that function. So we are saying here, if x is less than or equal to y, we want x back, we want this number x, else just give us y. Okay, so let us see this uh, function at work. All right, so the way we, we use a function in Python is we call the function or we invoke the function. So I'm gonna assign it to a variable called number because it's returning a value. So I can assign that value to a variable. So now I'm gonna say compare two nums and I can pass in the arguments. Now the real numbers are the arguments. So let's say 10 and 30. Okay, so now I can print this number to show you the returned value, right? So let me save and run. Uh, you will see down here I have a 10 because 10 is smaller than 30. So we get a 10 back. So this function, what happens is it will take these numbers and place them here, 10 and 30. And then here is going to be a 10. And then here is going to be a 30. So it will compare is 10 less than or equal to 30, obviously 10 is less than, so it will return this x and then that's it. And then it will terminate the function. So we'll get a 10 back. Let's see if we had a 100 over here and save and run. If the x is, is greater than y, then obviously we'll get a y back. So it will compare here and then this will be false. And so it will go to the else part and then it will return the y. Okay, so this is how it works and I hope it's straightforward. All right, so I want to thank you for your time. Hope to see you in our next video. For now, I'm out. Bye-bye.